Perhaps one of the most important yet elusive materials in the mid to late game of Conan Exiles is steel fire. It's incredibly important for creating steel and hardened steel, and it's one of those things that you really have to make a concerted effort to collect. Some enemies will drop you the occasional steel fire, but that's not a consistent method at all. So how do you effectively farm it? Well let's take a look at, in my opinion, the best method. This guide is aimed at new players, though if you are returning to the game from a long break this should be a nice refresher for you. All of this information is based off of the basic tannery workbench and the basic fireball cauldron, though you may see some yield improvements later on in the game with the improved variants of each workstation. This is the very minimum you should get. Steel fire requires one brimstone and two tar. One steel fire and five iron bars creates one steel bar, and whilst I would recommend trying to move out of the steel age as fast as possible and up to hardened steel and then of course star metal, steel reinforcements are used very heavily in tier 3 building, so you are pretty much always going to need a lot of it. As I said, it's two tar and one brimstone to make a steel fire. Brimstone is really easy to collect from the Shattered Springs, we'll be looking at that later. You can quite easily farm up a few thousand brimstone in 10 minutes or so. So tar is always going to be the bottleneck in your steel fire manufacturing line. So how do you make tar? Tar is generally a byproduct of tanning hides. You can create tar, alternatively, by putting 25 coal into a fluid press, although that is, in my opinion, a massive waste of coal, or by mixing raw ash and oil or resin in an alchemist bench, though that does require you to have a named alchemist working the bench, so not exactly practical for the early to mid game. Therefore, the most efficient way to make tar in the mid-game is to simply make sure that you are always tanning hides. Now, you need bark to tan hides. You can gain bark pretty easily by simply using a pick on any nearby trees, especially the dead ones that look like they're kind of bleached white. But hides is what you really need. However, not all hides are created equal. As you can see from this chart, I've included all of the available hides to use, aside from hyena fur, because I kind of forgot, Though hyena fur is also a 1 to 1 ratio, meaning you tan one piece of hyena fur and receive one tar. That ratio is pretty much the case for the vast majority of hides, aside from fur and regular old hide you'd get off say gazelles, both of which are a 3 to 1 ratio, which is not very good. As you can see by the data on screen now, each light hide takes 10 seconds to tan, and each thick hide takes 20. Each piece of bark in the tannery gives you 20 seconds of burn time. Anything at or below the 1 bark per tar ratio is a great option, though you'll also see that fur and regular hide are quite inefficient for mass tar production. Therefore, you will want to target lighter hides like feline, hyena, reptile, wolf and bat, and you'll also want to target thick hides especially, such as rhino, elephant and bear. This is where our farming spot comes in, the savannah. This place is full of rhinos, tigers and elephants, so you'll want to bring some solid armour and a good weapon, along with your best skinning knife and some aloe pots. Now, I personally don't bother with the elephants, they are a much tougher fight than the rhino. The rhinos are fairly easy foes, you've just got to mainly avoid their running attack, which can quite easily stack a reasonable bleed onto you. Also, just try to avoid their head in general, as you can quite easily get stuck inside them. You can also kill tigers to acquire feline pelts, though I would try to focus on the rhinos instead. The feline pelt is just a bonus. From the rhinos you'll get thick hide, rhino hide and exotic meat, so it's also a fairly decent source of food alongside the huge amount of hide you'll receive. Once you've farmed up a good amount of hide, there is one more thing you'll want to do. Now let's say for argument's sake you've collected a thousand rhino hide, that would cost a thousand bark to create a thousand tar. Not bad, but we can make it even better. If we put the rhino hide into the tanner's bench, we can strip two rhino hide down into three thick hide. Whilst thick hide has the same tar rate as rhino, you're stripping them down at a 2 to 3 ratio, so from a thousand rhino hide you'll end up with 1500 thick hide, getting an extra 500 tar pretty much for free. Seeing as bark is quite easy to come by, this method just simply increases the number of tar you can produce from one trip, and it's probably the most efficient way to do so. As a general rule, anything that strips down into light hide, so hyena, feline, reptile, that should all go straight into the tanner's bench to be tanned, and anything that you can strip down into thick hide should be stripped in the tanner's table to achieve maximum efficiency. 
Whilst all that hide is stripping and tanning, grab your sandstorm mask, a weapon and your best pick and head over to the Shattered Springs. Now we're here, we can harvest the large stalagmite-like formations to gather brimstone quite easily. If you bring a mount with you, which I would always recommend, you can of course put brimstone onto your mount and you can very easily acquire thousands of brimstone in a trip or two, which will see you through for quite a good while. You'll find crystal and brimstone rock noses here. They're pretty easy to defeat, though the crystals do have a slightly annoying ranged attack which will cause you to bleed. And of course, you can harvest the brimstone rock noses for, well, brimstone. Just be careful not to stray too far to the northern side of the Shattered Springs, there is a world boss there that I would definitely recommend you avoid. Once you finish your trip, head back home and hopefully all your hide will be tanned. From there, put your tar and brimstone into your fireball cauldrons and let your steel fire cook up. Now, I would definitely recommend getting yourself an improved fireball cauldron as soon as possible. Having this improved workbench will reduce the cost requirement of steel fire, taking it from a 2 to 1 cost to only requiring 1 brimstone and 1 tar. If you do invest in this bench, that 1500 tar that you've just made from all the hides will go from creating 750 steel fire to 1500, which will last you a lot longer, and it's going to be an essential cost reduction if you plan on building tier 3 structures. So, to conclude, you want to head over to the savannah, kill some rhinos, skin them, bring the hides back to the base, strip all of your rhino hides down into thick hides, tan your thick hides in the tanner with bark, and then go and grab some brimstone from the Shattered Springs. Come back, put them all into your improved fireball cauldron, and craft up your steel fire. And there we have it, an efficient and effective guide for farming steel fire. The advancement from iron to steel can be quite a hurdle to sustain if you're not familiar with the best ways to acquire large amounts of steel fire, so hopefully this helps you to take the next technological step within Conan and thrive in exile. If you like the channel and would like to see more content in the future, there are links in the description to my Twitter, Twitch, Discord, NordVPN discount, host Havoc affiliate link, and my Patreon. Or, of course, you can simply just leave a like and subscribe. Any of those are greatly appreciated. If you do choose to become a patron, you'll get sneak peeks of future videos, special roles in the Cuff Cult Discord, full size blueprint downloads, your name at the end of every video, and finally, a brand new edition for the $5 and above tiers custom-made Conan Exiles wallpapers in both 1080p and 4K resolutions, with patrons at the $20 tier being able to request custom designs. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadailot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Velma, Torn, Marl224, and Eagle Rose. If you're new here, I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so I hope to see you then. As always, take care, and I'll see you soon.